In this video, we'll take a detailed look at the recently released Flux version 1.1. We will test and compare its capabilities with Flux LoRa, Mid Journey version 6.1, and Mystic version 2 in terms of prompt understanding, photorealism, accuracy of details, and illustrative art. Let's get started. We'll start with the announcement and press release. The first thing first about the blueberries you see here. Last week in the image arena, there were a mysterious new image model appeared. It was just scoring the highest ever in comparison to other models. And it was called blueberry. And there was a lot of speculation on this new model. Some people even said that, hey, maybe this is Dali's new version. And in the end, we figured out that, okay, this is Flux 1.1. There are a few examples you can see here generated with Flux. We have photorealistic ones as well as illustrative art here. It honestly looks stunning and the, the details of the eye look fantastic. We have this incredible fashion shot with this delicious looking, almost like a cupcake-like dress. This looks fantastic. This looks really, really nice. I realize in the selections they made, additional to photorealism, also a lot of abstract art. And we also saw a lot of illustrative art, as well as some regular photorealism. And really looking forward to test this model out. This is super exciting. And they are suggesting that new model has superior speed and efficiency, the faster generation times and reduced latency. And they are suggesting that Flux 1.1 is three times faster than the currently available Flux 1 Pro. This sounds incredible. So they also mentioned and officially confirmed that Blueberry model was actually Flux 1.1. There's a comparison of InnoScore here that it seems to be doing extremely well. To the closest competitor seems Ideogram version 2. And of course, Midjourney is following really closely. The cost-wise, it seems to be doing really well in comparison to close competitors. And speed-wise, it looks extremely fast. So what they emphasize in this announcement is they mainly focused on improved speed and they focused on cost. So if you visit Replicate, you can see we have the version 1.1 Pro already ready to test. One thing I realized that there isn't a guidance setting anymore. So I wrote this prompt, cinematic photo of a biomorphic robot in lizard shape. Robot is perfectly adapted to the environment and a marvel of bioengineering with detailed textures and intricate details of biotech. And we have 16 to 9 aspect ratio and I would like to have PNG. Okay, it took 20 seconds and it looks absolutely stunning, guys. We have a bit of a problem with arms here. So I would like to compare Flux 1.1 with Flux 1.0. I would like to also actually choose Flux Pro here. And then I'm going to copy paste my prompt. So this is version 1.0. We have guidance setting here. Maybe I will keep this around 2.5. But the, the details and the texture and quality, there is huge, huge difference with previous version of Flux. I will test same prompt also on FreePick. And so I copy pasted it. We have the model chosen as Flux 1.1. And how cute that they actually put blueberries as an icon here. We have 16 to 9 image and we have this image here. Looks also fantastic. And now let's compare this to previous Flux Pro 1.0. Let's generate here. Okay, well, in comparison to this, right, it doesn't look that great. So on FreePick, there isn't a quality setting. And every time you generate, it generates as a JPEG. The FreePick generations are much faster. So it generates around 5 to 10 seconds faster which is really, really fast in comparison to other models. So we will start with prompt understanding and we will test Flux 1.1, Flux LoRa, Mid Journey and Mystic version 2 and compare the outputs between each other. So to simplify my workflow, for Flux 1.1 and Flux LoRa, I will use FreePick. For Mid Journey, I will use Mid Journey's official website. And for Mystic version 2, I will use Magnific website because it's only available here. Throughout these tests, I will run the same prompt for all four models. And for every model, I will run it maximum three times. It is, of course, extremely difficult to make 100% objective test because every model is different. They have their own dynamics, they have their own settings. But I will do my best to ensure that it's going to be an objective test. So my first prompt is one of my all-time favorites. Photo of a man is carrying a horse on his shoulders. So 
Flux 1.1 and Flux Laura, they had a realistic interpretation of the whole thing. They just positioned the horse close to the shoulder of the man and they were done with it. We didn't have this visual representation of literally a horse is on top of a man. So carrying part is not really represented there. And by the way, for Flux Laura, I run the same prompt between guidance range of two and five, and I always choose the best option. In these tests, actually, mid journey is the closest to what I imagined. It's almost like man is carrying the horse. The problem is it's in black and white. So I didn't really specify that. This is probably due to the training data. And even though I'm sympathetic to mid journey's output, it's difficult to say it's a clear winner for prompt understanding. And as a side note, I use style raw for mid-journey to maximize realism and prompt loyalty. So Mystic version 2, I played a lot with this. First of all, I tried with realism setting on and off. I keep the creative detailing in default value. And among all of those options, I couldn't create one where we had a horse on top of a man. So therefore, even though Mystic output looks really great, unfortunately, it's difficult to say I was able to fully reflect my prompt in the output. So next example is cinematic photo of two women sitting in a cafe. First woman wearing a blue dress with blueberry texture. The other woman is in an astronaut outfit. This prompt is quite interesting because it's blueberry texture. It's not a pattern. So if you look at the all options here, the Flux 1.1 literally understood what I needed, put the blueberry texture to the dress. Mid Journey also put the blueberries as a texture to the dress. So that's cool. So Mystic output and Flux Laura output, they took it more the blueberry as a pattern, right? I mean, this is not even a pattern. It's pretty much a blue dress. Okay, for all remaining models, we had a clear distinction of outfits. That's good. So we had a dress with a blue dress with blueberry texture or pattern and an astronaut outfit. That's fantastic. However, when I look at the faces of characters, pretty similar face, Pretty similar face, the hair is different, and Mystic literally put the same woman to the other subject, right? Only Flux Realism, only Flux Laura was able to actually differentiate that these are two different women with two different faces. That's cool. But if we're gonna look at the cinematic part of the prompt, to be honest, I don't really see the cinematic output in the Flux version. I think the most cinematic options here are Mid Journey and Mystic Output. They look really cinematic. It's a difficult one to announce a winner here. All models have their advantages and disadvantages. I think I'm quite impressed with Flux Laura output here because of two different distinct faces. Okay, next example is a fashion photo of a man wearing a t-shirt with blue and purple polka dots, a yellow hoodie and firefighter hat. For flux realism, here again, I picked the best option between guidance range 2 and 5, mid journey star raw parameter, and for mystic, I tried both realism on and off, and I picked the best one. For me here, all outputs are great except mid journey output. I don't know why, but mid journey is really struggling with putting the polka dots to a t-shirt and separating hoodie and there isn't even a proper firefighter hat. So it's really struggled with this outfit description. Rest of the models did extremely well. In the next example, we will try to assess which model has the strongest photorealism. So we have portrait photography of hyper-realistic close-up shot captures the moment when a tribal female warrior Adorned with intricate paint and feathers, gazes intently into the distance, surrounded by lush. So for mid journey here, I use star raw and dash dash quality too to maximize the output of quality and maybe try to improve the skin realism. Unfortunately, among all the results, mid journey output is for me the worst one. The skin looks really not realistic. It looks like plastic, and I can tell you. While I was testing Mid Journey version 6, the skin looked much, much better. I don't know what went wrong with version 6.1, honestly. For Mystic Output, I turn on the realism. And I think Flux 1.1 did a great job here. It looks really fantastically realistic. There is maybe a slight, very slight plasticity in the skin. Flux Realism, I think, did really well with the skin. The details of paint, and you can see the details of hair. Almost you see like single hairs here. I think it did a pretty good job, but we have Mystic version 2 by far 
came up with the most realistic output. I know this model is optimized for photorealism, so that's understandable. But look at the intricate details of the headpiece, the skin, the hair. I think this model has the most realistic output among all other models, though Flux really comes close as well. So next parameter is accuracy of details. For this job, I choose my all-time favorite volleyball players. So I explained this in my previous videos, but this is a very difficult prompt for generative AI models because volleyball is, is like a different game. You need to render many things. You have audience, you have players, you have the net, you have the action, fingers needs to be right, and, and many more things. So when we look at here, I think Flux did quite a good job, except here we have a problem with the face. Anatomy looks okay, and action looks great. We have a net. Maybe only thing we can say this audience is way too close to the pitch, but it's not a big deal. Flux realism had a little bit of issue here, but fingers look correct and the net looks correct. I think the position of players may be a little off, but it's understandable. And here we are more looking into the position of the players. We are looking into the position of net and, you know, we are looking at hands and things like that. I'm actually happy with Flux LoRa output here. So here's the mid journey output, star raw, and let's focus on the details. We have some kind of like little bit of sand here, not on the shoes, or at least maybe there is some sand. The face looks a little bit off here. So I think net is a little too high. So it's difficult to say it's accurate. And fingers kind of look okay. We can accept it. It's not so horrible. This is mystic output. Maybe here we have one finger missing. Here, perfect finger. Here, we have a little bit of issue. I think here with the legs, we have some morphing problem. You need to look carefully, but you can see there is some issue here. And I think we have some problems here with the hands. The output is so realistic and it looks so stunning. It's really, these problems can be fixed easily with retouch. And I think this is a great output, but we are judging the accuracy of details. It's difficult to say one model is clear winner. I think probably flux realism again came closest to perfection of accuracy of details. Rest struggled quite a lot. Okay, next thing I want to show you is more of an illustrative style of prompt. I mean, in the channel, we are always doing photorealistic prompts, but I also want to diversify a little bit. So in this example, I use ink style fantasy art of sci-fi woman in a tight space suit with space helmet and space ray gun in action pose. She's exploring a hostile alien planet. We have an ink style, right? It's an illustrative style. And I mean, from the first look, you can say flux realism. Of course, this model is not intended for illustrative artsy style of output. So that's definitely okay. And we are not judging flux Laura. For me, best output here is mid journey output. The mystic output also comes close, but I really like and the tight suit and action pose and everything I think is spot on. And just as a side note for this output, I didn't use star row. I use standard mid journey aesthetics with default value. I think flux output also comes quite close. I mean, except of course you have hair coming out from the helmet, but if you ignore that, I think this output is also great. So for mystic output, I used realism offsetting and I use the engine called Magnific Illusio. I think it's also a really great output. This is like really ink star. But for me, by far the best option is mid-journey output here. Let's take a look at the conclusion. For prompt understanding, from my perspective, all models are doing great except mid-journey. Mid-journey really needs to do some catching up with other models when it comes to prompt understanding. I would say Flux is slightly better than Mystic version 2 at the moment, at least. For photorealism, Mystic version 2 is clear winner. There is no competition. However, Flux 1.1 is also coming very close. The problem with Flux 1.1 is I'm a little bit missing the cinematic vibe that Mystic is giving me. It looks very photorealistic. It looks like a stock photo when it comes to Flux 1.1. But I'm also enjoying some cinematic vibe of Mystic version 2. With accuracy of details, to be honest, all models are still struggling. I think Flux is doing relatively okay, especially Flux realism. When it comes to workflow, I cannot stop but thinking, are we headed towards a distinction between models? Meaning, if you want to generate photorealistic images, maybe you should go to Flux or Mystic. If you want to generate more illustrative art style artwork, you should use Midjourney because when it comes to artsy style, illustrative art, abstract art, 
Mid Journey is still doing extremely well. And there's also this whole star reference libraries. There are so many styles to explore on Mid Journey side. And it's very unfortunate that they actually didn't come up with a great way of exploring all these style references on their website. Luckily, the community is doing a lot of library work and they are cataloging all these style references. So we can see how huge this is. Right? It's a big advantage. And I think they should use this advantage in a more clever way. That Flux is also pushing hard for artwork and illustrative abstract art. But I think they are definitely not there. They are not as good as Mid Journey yet. And for consistent characters, of course, Mid Journey is still a clear winner. Their character reference is very strong. But when you want to have two or more consistent characters, Mid Journey has no offering where instead you can actually train a Flux Nora and you can have multiple consistent characters. And speed-wise, Flux 1.1 is super fast. It's the fastest model. When you look at like overall package, it's very cost effective and it offers you a nice package. So what's next for all these models? When it comes to Flux, I would say they are coming after Mystic version 2 with their upcoming 2K resolution. And Mystic version 2 has already 4K resolution. So it's incredible. In comparison to mid-journey images, it looks like next gen, right? We know we are hearing the rumors about Flux state-of-the-art video model. We don't know what's the progress there so far. But if they launch their video model next to mid-journey and Mystic, they will be also direct competitor to AI video models, Runway, Kling, Luma. When it comes to mid-journey video, we know they are training and we know they are working on it, but we don't have an exact deadline. We don't know when this will be launched. I can also add here mid-journey version 7 because it really feels like they need to catch up with competition and as soon as possible, right? I don't want to be like alarming them or anything, but I'm observing in every Flux release and Mystic release, I, I feel like mid-journey is staying a little bit behind, especially when it comes to photorealism. So we are waiting from mid-journey side, video model, their version 7, and of course, storytelling mode, because they promised that and we still didn't have the release. So I'm really waiting for this. I think the storytelling mode has a lot of potential. They can really leverage their consistent character offering. Hopefully, we can also have multiple consistent characters. Really looking forward for that. And for Mystic version 2, I think they need to do some workflow improvements, right? They don't have consistent characters, as far as I know, and they don't have a consistent style option. I think they have a fixed seat, and I need to test that if it works well for consistent style. But for me, I cannot use Mystic version 2, even though I love its cinematic tendencies so much, if there is no consistent characters. I can't generate AI films with that. So as you can see, competition is fierce, and there is no clear winner. But hopefully, in the end of the day, users asked will be the winners. And I think clear winner will be the model who is clearly listening to the creators and the user feedback and focusing on what users want instead of other things. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you to understand how good the Flux 1.1 model is. If you liked the video, it would be great if you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.